Hello, and welcome to another Starscape video. Today I'll be doing a guide on how to get started with drone hunting. Drone hunting is essentially going through different systems looking for drone fleets or drone structures and destroying them for their loot. You can get all sorts of loot from drones, from minerals to blueprints for ships and turrets. As the type of drones get more and more dangerous, the loot gets even better. You can get some really crazy loot from drone hunting, with the potential to earn massive amounts of credits and valuable equipment. There are a few different things you can find when drone hunting. First off are drone factories, hideouts, and foundries. These are large structures, and parts of them can be destroyed until you can finally destroy it completely, which will then give you some decent loot, including power sails, sometimes hybrid items even, along with minerals and scraps. If you're in the process of destroying it, groups of reinforcement drones will pile in and fire upon you. Uh, then there are drone fleets. When you warp into a planet, you'll immediately know if it's a drone fleet, as at the top of the screen there'll be a little UI that says so. There are four tiers of drone fleet, the higher of which are more difficult and have better loot. The fleets are made up of waves, which have around 10 to 20 ish drones. Tier 1 fleets only have 2 waves, tier 2 have 3, 3 have 4, and 4 have 5. At the end of each fleet, there will be a drone captain or lieutenant, or a squad leader, which will drop the best loot. Also, at the end of tier 4 fleets, there is a 10% chance for a drone battleship to spawn, which is an extremely large boss like drone with even better loot. Drone fleets probably have the best loot out of all the other drone structures, as you can get rarer minerals and more frequent hybrid items. So, what do you bring to drone hunting? For a ship, I'd recommend either having a frigate or a destroyer. Corvettes aren't great when it comes to the high level fleets, as there is just so much damage being fired upon you. Any frigate or destroyer will do fine, but if you can choose, I'd recommend a tanky one like the Flanks or Echelon. For modules, you'll definitely need a hull booster or a repairer, and it'll be good to have a shield booster as well. For turrets, I'd recommend blasters, cannons, or coil guns, whatever you prefer, just as they have the most DPS. Here's the strategy on how you find and fight them. So first off, you're going to want to go to a wild system, as they have the higher tier fleets, which have better loot. When you warp in, make sure to launch a system probe, and you want to hover it over every planet. This is important, as it will tell you where all the drones are. And also, you want to try and find an anomaly where there's no drones, like an asteroid field or a monument. This will be important later. Now if you look for the planet list, it'll show if they have a pirate den, a drone factory, or a drone presence. Walk to any planet that says drone presence, or this icon, as it will likely be a fleet. When fighting drone fleets, always target the bigger drone ships like the frigates and the destroyers first, before moving on to the smaller pesky ships, as the bigger ones do way more damage. One very important thing about drone hunting is knowing you can walk away. If your hull is suffering a lot of damage that a hull booster simply cannot keep up with, Find a safe spot in the system, like the anomaly you found before, and warp there and spend a few minutes healing your hull with a hull booster. The drones you have killed will not reappear, and any progress you have made to the drone fleet or structure will not be undone. So there's no downside in doing this. If you're going to do this, don't leave it too late though, as big ships can take quite a while to position and then actually get into warp, so do it as soon as you think you might lose your ship, probably when your hull gets to about half health and is quickly dropping. An example of this is, when I was recording this, I was doing a final wave of a tier 4, 4 fleet, so there was a lot of damage, and I escaped very narrowly with my conciliator, with only 1% of hull. So here's some of the loot I got from this. So, after defeating two tier 3 fleets and one tier 4 fleet, which took maybe 40 to 60 minutes, I got some drone cores and minerals, but most importantly, I got a hybrid upgrade and a hybrid ship blueprint. Now this is where drone hunting gets really profitable, because if we look at the player market, the hybrid ship blueprint is being priced at around 100,000 credits, and the upgrade is about 50,000. 50, I put mine up for sale for just a bit cheaper, and managed to sell them for about 125,000 credits together, which is crazy. With luck, this could probably be one of the best money farming methods in the game. This is one of the reasons why drone hunting is fun. You don't know what you're going to get. One time you may not get much, but next time you could get rich. I hope this video helped introduce you to drone hunting in Starscape, and thanks for watching.